another Iranian woman murdered in forced hijab dispute. In a shocking turn of events, a woman tragically lost her life in Iran during a heated hijab dispute on April 23rd. A dramatic fight between the country's paramilitary besieged forces and a group of people was caught on camera, quickly going viral on social media. The details of the fight and what led to the woman's death were unclear and subject to debate. Reports suggest that the unnamed woman, who was either 59 or 60, died due to cardiac arrest in the hospital. However, some Iranians suggested that the older woman was beaten based on footage of the scuffle. Iran International reported that besieged forces ordered women in the group to comply with mandatory hijab rules while visiting a park. When the group refused to obey, a fight broke out. In the video footage, a female besieged member can be heard saying, let them die to hell with it. This harrowing incident comes on the heels of 22-year-old Masa Amini's tragic death under the custody of Iran's morality police for an improperly worn hijab. With the Islamic Republic ramping up enforcement of the strict hijab laws, tensions continue to rise. So, Armin, this was probably one of the biggest stories to come out of Iran this past week. Um, there, what has the information about this event changed from when we discussed it but privately? And what has been the reaction to this? And maybe explain more context. Well, do we ha do we not have the video of it? Because I wanted to show the video. The video is not in the article. Um, oh, I don't know if we can show the video. Well, it, it, no, the video doesn't have the moment of death in it. So I wanted to show the video but and analyze. Armin, there's it. a person getting violently assaulted in that video. Do you remember mm -hmm. how? Mm -hmm. Remember that a man comes up behind, I think, another besiege member and decks him in the head with a huge stone. Like, I don't think we can show that. Like, that was attempted murder. Well, okay, so I guess, let me see the picture. Like, I can show you the picture at least, okay? So this is the picture. Um, so what you're seeing here is the, the this is the video, which we're not going to show because this is YouTube. Um, and YouTube doesn't like any, you know, any form of violence, right? So we can't show that. But the video was recorded from inside the bus. Do you know? Do you know the name of the woman who died? Because her name just came out recently. Oh, that wasn't reported in English media yet. Okay. So, so th these people they were at this garden, at this park, or whatever for for, and then. They, 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 we have two groups of people, some normal people and then the religious people, right? And the, these religious people had came over there. They had the full chador, the full hijabi thing on, um, and they were telling people to cover up, basically, to follow the hijab rules. And what happened was during the whole, you know, f discussion or the fight between them, somebody apparently punched the old elderly woman, right? And she died. Um, and then all these religious women, they ran away realizing what has happened and they went inside the bus and they recorded everything themselves. The religious people were responsible for the elderly woman's death from inside the bus. And which is, which is ironic because the video they recorded is now what is condemning them the most. So it's clear that they're chadori, that they're very religious and they use religious phrases and stuff. And there's a woman here. I, I can't, sh I wish I could show you the video, at least a part that she's standing outside and looking at the people in the bus and she's cursing them with so much emotion. Can I at least show that part? Well, wait, I I show that part. Give me 30 seconds. I just remembered that Masih Linajad posted it. And so I can find this very, very easily. One, one moment. Yeah, because I want you to see the raw emotion um, in that woman's. Uh, face it's pretty brutal by the way guys, we have to be, if i find this video we pretty. have to be careful i will be careful i will make sure that i don't get to the part where you with the guy somebody comes behind um and hits another person i will tell you because there's a man here so like you see this man with the checkered shirt like right is that's what it called checkered right mm -hmm. um he is one with the best with the religious woman 
and he's out there and he's trying to figure out how what's happened how she died and stuff and mm -hmm. when she when he's walking to back towards the bus to come to the bus with the religious people somebody a man walks behind her and hits the man with the religious man with the in the head because they see them as murderers like you just killed one of ours so they come and try to get revenge and try to kill the man from behind um by the way, the reason why you see the window from the bus right now cracked here is because the people, the non-religious, the not very religious people outside the bus started throwing stones at the bus with the very, very religious people inside because they say, like, you just killed one of us, right? Yeah. I just sent so you, you the video in the private chat. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me show you. Oh, my God. This is a Instagram video. I wish it was... I wish it was... I wish it was Twitter because Instagram doesn't let me pause and stuff. Okay, but let me lag so much. If you give me, I'll, I'll look for Twitter as well. Here, yeah, no, it's okay. Okay, sure. Hey, let me. No, watch this with me before you do that because it's okay. Important. Here, okay. So you can see that. So you see the people are attacking this man. This man is with the woman inside the bus. This man that other people are attacking, they're like attacking him because you just, because you see this white here? This is an elderly woman who just died because of them, right? Why is my mouse look acting up like that, right? And the guy with the checkered shirt, now he's being attacked by the normal people, non-religious people, because they're like, you, you guys just killed her. You guys are just killed. So that's why he's being attacked. <laughs> See, like, so the woman, the religious woman, are saying, "Go bring him in, so that he doesn't get attacked." Look, these people are crying because of that their grandma or whatever died. So this woman is shouting at the woman in the bus. So somebody is crying inside the bus because they just realized that they killed somebody. So this woman in yellow is trying to come and uh, yelling at the woman in the bus. She's, she's like, look what you did to us. Oh, this woman like... Hold on, hold on. Look at this. You see this part? You see this part? Are you paying attention? Look at this yeah. woman right here. Oh, you have the Twitter. Okay. So she, I, I don't know if you heard it. She said, Lana Parshama, like, like curse you, like curse you people. Like, look what you did to us. Hold on, let me, you have the one, the, the Twitter one? This is mm -hmm. it? it okay, this is much so better. Much, okay, but it's much better quality. Where, let's go to. I want to pause. Look. Yeah. Oh, look, this is the guy that attacks. So the man, this is the religious man here. The stri oh, it's, it's not checkered, it's stripes. This is the man, he just picked up a stone and he's going to come attack him at some point. So this is the woman here. He's been, she's been blurred. Her face has been blurred. Oh, so this I've seen the one that she hasn't been blurred. She, you can see, like she tells the woman in the bus, the religious woman in the bus, like curse you, curse all of you. Like look what you did to us. She said, "Lana, means like curse you, curse all of you." It's so weird because the religious people are telling the people outside which is weird. I know. They just, killed, they just killed somebody and they're calling the people who are uh, attacking them as By the way, the, the, uh, this video doesn't have the parts. The, the people in the bus, they had stones thrown at the bus. That's why the, you see the glass crack. <laughs> So this one is not complete. Let me go back to the Instagram one because it's uh, there's a part where they say some of the, one of the women says, "Did she die?" Oh. Here. 
She's like, she's like, get down, get down there, throwing stones at us. So they're calling them Bireirat, like you just killed one of them and you're calling them without honor? See, like you can see, you can see, she's wearing a chador, so you can see that these are the chadori women, so they are the religious ones. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm recording so that they can't do anything to us. But like, shut up. You hear that? She said, like, did she die? And the woman who's recording are like, let them die. Let them die. One of the religious people said that, did she die? And the other religious woman says, like, let them die. Oh, watch out. No, 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 no. What a warming. Okay. Sorry. I didn't look. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's just, uh, we denounce all violence. We denounce violence on YouTube. That was not um, good. This is against what we are, what we what we stand for here on YouTube. Okay, this is not good. It was the guy didn't the guy didn't die. The guy it was just it was just like a punch in the head. The guy is the guy didn't die. The religious he woman. He went down. Yeah, he just fell. He just fell down on the ground. Yeah, but he didn't, oh, he die. Just, he didn't die. Okay, sure. He just fell. <laughs> okay, okay, pretty serious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So. No, he didn't die though. The guy, the other guy didn't. I know, die. I know, I know, I know. He didn't. Um. Yeah. So, this was like really big news that came out and what has been what have you heard since this happened because it takes sometimes for these things to evolve sometimes and then what has been the reaction and why do you have that reaction right now what is this people say armin knows he screwed up <laughs> well i mean it was i wanted to show you the part where you said where she says let them die so, and I didn't know it was so close to the attack, but the attack it's wasn't. It's... The attack was like, okay, Susie, I I said you we shouldn't get a problem a problem for this because YouTube says if it's commentary on the news, then we shouldn't really get in trouble for this. It's just no, a matter no, of whether YouTube. Recognizes. I understand. Yeah, I'm you yeah, know yeah. just being cautious. Extra cautious, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. what has been the reaction and fallout from this? Well, the reaction. The the regime um, publications really came out and just said that this one of them at least came out too so early and said that this was about her job because there was a very slight attempt at the beginning to throw this like uh, you know to kind of sweep this under the carpet by saying this was a personal issue fight issue but it just leaked so fast and even one of the official regime um, um, news agencies came out and said that this was about her job. So it's mm -hmm. too late to cover this up anymore, right? Um, it's not getting the same reaction that with Mahsa. Um, I don't, you know, it's hard to, but it's still, it, it was a major news, but not in the same sense that it was with Mahsa. Mm -hmm. I think he, oh, he, let me tell you, let me tell you why I think this is. Because these are people. This is not the regime. So the regime is taking a step back in enforcing his job laws and is, is now putting people against people. So it's making, it's creating a, a very polar um, situation, a, a very, what is it called? Where there's two groups of people. Polarized. Fighting. Polarized. Yeah, it's a very polarized situation within the country. So the, so the regime is very, very terrified if, uh, about doing another massa because the price it paid for the master revolution was too high. So now it's so scared of enforcing the hijab laws and it's not, it's not enforcing the hijab laws. And it, when it's, when, even when it tries to enforce the hijab laws, it tries to not get hands on. It tries to like, oh, we're going to put cameras and, you know, give you fines. We're not going to let you in banks. If you don't have the hijab, we're not going to let you in Metro. If you don't have a job, we're going to go close down the stores that let customers in that don't have their job, but it doesn't want to put the police on the streets that get put their hands on women because 
if the, if it does that, another massive situation will happen, and they're like, okay, that would be if we go through that again, that might be the end of us, right? So instead of doing that, their religious people are trying to do what the government was doing before and take the laws into their hand. And now you're seeing another event like this happening, but not by the government, but by religious, average religious people. And I think the government prefer, like, will, will be able to say, like, well, this wasn't us. So, like, yeah, these people did something wrong. They're plausible so deniability. Us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's 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 how that's how they're trying to avoid mass oil happening again. Mm, mm. Mm. Even though these people are like reportedly besiege, like that well, doesn't. You're saying that it's still people, not the state. Well, here's the thing: the besiege is. It's technically, you are a government force, and you're not. I mean we have millions of people with besiege cards. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like if you become a besiege, you're technically part of a force of the government, but it's not like you're, it's semi-official. Do you know what I mean? Um, they just like hand in besiege cards left and right to anybody. Sometimes they, they even have given besiege cards to people who didn't know they were their besiege cards. <laughs> like it was a bath party in Iraq. Like, I remember we were watching yeah. that documentary and it turned out like people were signed up for it without even asking or because of like a job benefit. And then they get nixed out because they were part of the bath party. It's like, that was only for like a discount on something. And now I'm screwed with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So besiege, being a besiege member it's you're still not necessarily part of the government unless you are a major part of the besiege you know what i mean so they're still they're still just average people i mean a, a, a radical part of the average people mm -hmm. yeah Damn. so well okay that's actually that's really true. helpful context so thanks for explaining yeah. that um is there anything else particularly significant going on in Iran right now that you can talk about? Oh my God, so many! But each, if I want to start each one of them, you will be here for hours. But I know. I mean, so anything much. particularly religion related? Because we talk about lots of like nerdy political drama, but that's more in the opposition. Yeah, even religion related, so much has happened. Right? Um, we uh, we have more and more laws coming out and saying, you know, Islam doesn't actually tell you that you must wear the hijab. So Bro. we have more laws. Well, yeah, so we need next week. Should we do a story about how there have been mullah assassinations? Yes, there's mullah assassinations that going on. There's been multiple well, mullah should... assassinations this past week. You think we should talk yeah. about it? We have so had crazy. Mullahs are afraid right now in Iran because we had had one mullah coming out. Maybe I should send you that video. Okay, so there was a Friday. There was a, a mom of a Friday prayer of a of a city that came out in the streets. Oh my God! I should. We should have this video for you for you guys next week. Let's find it and show it to you. And he was like going around and shutting down stores, like shut them because they were allowing women without hijab in the stores. So he was going left and right and telling people to like shut this one down, shut this one down. Oh, and like he's like, a little king. <laughs> shut this one down. No more. <laughs> and it was like, wait a minute, you are the Friday prayer mom. You have no authority. What are you doing? How how are you doing this? You can't do this. You are you're not the once a week. No, like no, he had no he had no legal capacity to go around and shut stores down. It was insane. Um and then after these assassinations of mullahs, right? Oh, and people burned down his office. <laughs> people, yeah. So he was going around like acting like he's the king of the city and shutting stores down. And the next day his office was burned down. At, yeah, firebomb. And he came out and the video was clearly him like the store owners were begging him, like, please let us, like, uh, we can't do this. Like, sorry, we can't really enforce the law. We can't, like, tell them, you know, that's not our job. Like, let us, you know, you know. And so, and he was like, no, no, shut this one down. Shut that one down. Shut this one down. And then they, they, they firebombed his office at the Friday prayer, you know, mosque and stuff. And then he came out and he's like, 
I was actually thanking people for their work and their service. <laughs> But it's it like, I'm sorry, guys. I think it was a misunderstanding. I wasn't telling the people to shut down their stores. I was just thanking them all for their hard work and their service they're doing. <laughs> but it was so beautiful because it just shows how afraid, like, they're like, okay, maybe we don't have the power that we used to have. <laughs> like, these people are killing, they, they're assassinating Mullahs. Again, we don't endorse that YouTube. Cars. Yeah, they're running over guys. They're running over mullahs with cars. Again, YouTube, we don't endorse this. Okay, we're just telling you what's happening. I in think Iran. we should do a full discussion on this next week. Okay, guys, make sure to tune in next week because we will do a full segment on this. Yeah. There was one that just happened, or the news about it just came out, at least for English, like last night about the, the car situation. That was crazy. Oh. Yeah. So mullahs are t coming out and saying how afraid they are. They're like, it's it, it's scary to be a mullah right now in Iran. They're saying that, yeah. And things were already getting heated before Masa was killed. Because remember, there were all those stabbings that happened. And yeah. now it's just on a different level. Stabbing of mullahs, by the way. By, by the way, YouTube, again, we don't endorse that. Like, the hatred towards mullahs were so, yeah, anyways. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that um, these are the people who terrified people or others and made them feel like every time because every time you see a you used to see a mullah you would think like okay you just saw a king that gets to like ruin your life if they wanted mm -hmm. to so a lot of people are enjoying again YouTube are not endorsing this the fact that they are the ones who feel afraid now. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.